Welcome to this video. Are you interested in why your vehicle diagnosis displays P1AE3? How is the error code interpreted by the vehicle? What does P1AE3 mean, or how to correct this fault? Today we will find answers to these questions together. Let's do this. First, let's look at the history of diagnostic fault code composition according to the OBD2 protocol, which is unified for all automakers since 2000. We divide the electric system of automobile into the four basic units. Powertrain. Body. Chasis. Network. This distribution is defined in the first character code. If the second character is expressed as zero, it is a standardized error. In the case of numbers 1, 2, 3 it is a more prestigious expression of the car-specific error. The third character specifies a subset of errors. The distribution shown is valid only for the standardized DTC code. Only the last two characters define the specific fault of the group. Let's not forget that such a division is valid only if the other character code is expressed by the number 0. Our website airbagreset.sk produces useful videos for you. You do not have to go through the OBD2 protocol anymore to know how to troubleshoot any car breakdown. You will find all the diagnostic codes that can be diagnosed in a GMC vehicles. Also many other useful things. The following demonstration will help you look into the world of software for car control units. You unbelievably can move the video a bit further. The error code is split into two bytes consisting of 16 bits. One bit is the basic unit that each computer works with. The bit has two logical states. 0, low level. 1, high level. By combining the first two bits, the basic character of the error code is expressed. The next two bits again determine the second character. The last bit styles of the first byte define the third character of the code. The second byte is composed of a combination of eight bits. The first four bits determine the fourth character of the code. And the combination of the last four bits defines the fifth character. A single byte conceals 256 possible combinations. We now know in what way the diagnostic tool translates the received information into a more comprehensible format. The number itself does not make sense to us if we cannot assign information about it to what it actually expresses. So, what does the diagnostic trouble code P1AE3 interpret specifically GMC car manufacturers? The basic definition is Invalid data received from brake control module algorithm based failures event information. And now this is a short description of this DTC code. Note. This diagnostic trouble code DTC status is an event controlled diagnostic trouble code DTC An event controlled diagnostic trouble code DTC does not mean that there is a fault in the control module when it is active, but is designed as information These diagnostic trouble codes DTCs do not need to be erased but disappear when the conditions no longer apply The suspension module SUM continually receives information from the brake control module BCM via CAN communication information is checked by the suspension module sum the diagnostic trouble code DTC is stored if the control module detects that a message indicating that your angle or lateral acceleration from the brake control module BCM is incorrect or invalid the control modules test for the diagnostic trouble code DTC starts in the event of ignition switch position 2 the test is carried out every other operating cycle the suspension module sum defines an operating cycle as ignition on and ignition off note. The control module can only detect the fault once the test has been started and the diagnostic trouble code DTC is stored when the conditions are met note. When diagnostic trouble codes in the suspension module sum are erased, they do not disappear until the next operating cycle ignition off, ignition on. This diagnostic error occurs most often in these cases. Look for the cause of the fault in the brake control module BCM fault trace related to the CAN net. The Airbag Reset website aims to provide information in 52 languages. 
Thank you for your attention and stay tuned for the next video.